All right, guys, Darren from FBA Elite, and welcome back to another video. So in this week's video, I'm gonna be showing you a brand new tool, an AI-powered tool that has been designed specifically for Amazon sellers. So I touched on AI a month or two back when I showed how you could use ChatGPT to help with your Amazon business, but this tool has been designed specifically for us. So if you're an Amazon seller and either launching a product on Amazon or already have products on Amazon, you need to check this out as potentially it's gonna be game changing for some people. So the tool we're gonna to be using today is a listing builder. So many of the people that I mentor or buy my course, um, English isn't actually their native tongue. So when they come to create the Amazon listing, often they struggle to create the title, bullets and descriptions. And even people that are native English speakers often aren't used to writing in the way you need to write for an Amazon listing. So for me, it's always come quite naturally because I had a web design business before, so I spent much of my life writing content with both SEO, so with the bots in mind, but also with humans in mind. And it does take some practice to do that. Um, and even for me, if I'm doing a new listing from scratch, I could easily spend a few hours working on the title, bullets, and description, whereas many new sellers will spend a lot longer than that and still end up with a result which isn't great. So a lot of people that do come to me often have big room for improvement with their title, bullets and description. And this AI tool is gonna to make it easier for you guys. So that's what I'm gonna be talking you through in this video, a step-by-step -step guide how to use this tool. It is a brand new one and it's still in beta or beta, however you wanna say it. So this will get better over time, but already it's pretty good. So this is the listing builder, which is an AI powered listing optimizer from Helium 10. And the good thing with this, you can use it for either a brand new listing or if you already sell on Amazon, you can use it for existing listings as well. So you've got here, optimize your listing. But in this instance, I'm gonna do starting from scratch as that's what most of you guys are gonna be doing. So let's start a brand new listing. You can also, if you want, you can choose an existing ASIN on Amazon that's one of your competitors. So maybe one of your competitors you really admire who's doing a fantastic job. You might wanna base your listing on theirs. But for me, I would always start from scratch as I would not trust that that one individual listing is doing everything it needs to do. I wanna take data from many listings. So we're gonna be creating a new listing on the amazon.co.uk marketplace. The other thing as well is you can actually connect this directly to your Seller Central account so these updates go up automatically. We're not gonna do that today because you guys won't be connected, but I'm just gonna show you how it would work. So if there was an ASIN or an existing product you wanted to base it on, you could pop it in there, but we're gonna leave it blank because we're creating a brand new listing from scratch, which is what most of you guys will be doing. So the first thing we need, we actually need some keywords before the AI power really kicks in. So I've covered keyword research in previous videos. There are many ways you can do this and you can spend hours doing it to be fair. Um, I'm just gonna show you a very, very quick method to get some great keywords that will really help you with your listing. So if you haven't done this before, this will give you a leg up. But if you already have an optimized listing, you probably wanna do a bit more that I'm gonna show you very quickly. So in this video, we're gonna take my car bootliner product as an example. That was the first ever product I sold on Amazon. It went on to sell, I think over 300,000 pounds worth of bootliners over the space or three or four years before I discontinued that particular product. So we're gonna take a look at that product and we're gonna create a listing using um, what I know about my product and then using the AI tool to generate the title, description and bullets for us. So before we can do that though, we need some great keywords and the best way to do that is by using Cerebro. So if we come to Amazon, put in one of the search terms that you know generates a lot of the best performing, most relevant products. So when I started selling this product, it was car bootliner for dogs was the leading keyword. Um, but that evolved over time to, I think it was car boot protector for dogs. And let's just see what the current search volumes are to see if that's still the case. So yeah, car bootliner for dogs is at 325 car boot protector is 2154. Let me try car boot protector for dogs to see how that compares. Car boot protector for, i am wait for it to come up with the suggestions. And there we go, we've got car boot protector for dogs, which isn't the highest volume keyword, but it is the most relevant and it is higher than car boot liner for dogs. So let's take that search term. The next thing I'm gonna do is use another tool that's built in and included with Helium 10. We wanna ignore all of the sponsored listings, but what we wanna do is use all of these listings here that are organically placed really well for this search term. And we wanna analyze these products to pull through the keywords that they're using because if they are ranking well for particular keywords, there is a very good chance if you're selling a comparable product, you wanna rank for them as well. So we're gonna analyze 
these products. So if we click on Helium 10 at the top, and we're gonna to use a tool which I haven't really covered much in the past, and it's called ASIN Grabber. And what that allows you to do is save a lot of time when going through these products. So rather than copying one ASIN at a time into Cerebro, you can run ASIN Grabber, you can tick the boxes, so ignore all the sponsored ones, so tick the boxes of all of the products that you want to run Cerebro on. So I'm gonna pick, uh, I'm gonna pick 10, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ignore the sponsored eight, nine, 10. Now, if you're doing this, take a bit more time than me and just make sure all of these products are comparable before you do this. And once you've got 10 of those selected, choose Run Cerebro. So this is gonna do what we call a reverse ASIN lookup. It's gonna look at all of these products, look for all of the keywords all of these products are using, and then we can run some filters to help reduce that keyword list down into a list that we wanna to use to create our listing. So you can see that Cerebro has done its job. It's taken those 10 ASINs and it has narrowed it down to a list of 3,253 filtered keywords. Now, at the moment, that is too many keywords for you to try and use. So we need to apply some filters to reduce that down to a manageable amount. So the first thing, search volume. Let's exclude any search keywords with a search volume of less than 100. That's gonna reduce it down a bit. Um, I also want you to put an average competitor rank. So I don't want any keywords that are ranked outside of the top 20 because if these listings are organically ranked within the top 20 for these particular keywords, it means it's very, very likely those keywords have been driving sales for those products. So I would ignore anything outside the top 20. And then we've got ranking competitors count here. So I want any keywords that are gonna come back to uh, be keywords at least two of those 10 ASINs rank for. Now I used to use a much higher number, like at least half but I found that was too restrictive. So at least two of these products have keywords that are indexed in the top 20 with a minimum search volume of 100. So let's see how much that reduces this keyword list down from 3,253. So let's click apply filters and you can see we are now down to just 21 filtered keywords. And if you take a quick look through these, you can see they are super relevant. This is why doing reverse ASIN with Cerebro is so powerful and it will save you so much time. And now we're gonna take these keywords and take them over to the AI listing builder so I can show you what this video really is all about and that is AI creating the listing for you. So we tick this box here and we can either add it to a list so it's stored permanently within Helium 10 or we can choose export data and copy it to clipboard. So I'm just gonna copy it to clipboard for now and then we're gonna go back to the listing builder, click on manually add keywords, paste them in there and now we are good to go. So let's add these to the banks. This is gonna store them in, in Helium 10 anyway. So pretty much what I just showed you on the previous page and you've got all of your keywords ready to go. So let's click on the next button and really get into the fun part of this video, which is creating your listing. And you can see on the left-hand side of the listing builder, we've got all of the keywords that we just got from running the reverse ASIN via Cerebro. On the right-hand side, we've got your title, bullet points and description, search terms, etc. And we're gonna use AI to write these using the data that we've got on the left-hand side, plus with an additional bit of input from us as well. So let's click on these top filters first and start populating these, because the more information we can give it, the better job it's gonna do for your listing. So the first thing we need is some product characteristics. So you're gonna know your product better than I will, um, but I'm just gonna write some for the car bootliner product to give you an idea of the type of things you may want to include. So for example, some of the features of the car bootliner when I was selling it is one, it was waterproof. So that is a characteristic I want. Um, number two, it had a quilted fabric, which at the time was very unique in the niche before everyone copied me. So we had quilted fabric. Um, we also had a reusable, um, if I can actually type today, reusable, I called it a dirt proof storage bag to make it sound more interesting than just a packaging bag, which is all it was really, but by calling it a reusable dirt-proof storage bag, it gave me a unique selling point that the other listings didn't have. We also had a bumper protector flap, which was just a fancy way of saying that the boot liner was long enough to overlap the bumper, so when your dog's jumping into the car or you're loading the car with rubbish, it doesn't scratch your bumper. So have a think about the product characteristics for your product. What can you add in here Basically, it's all of your USPs, all of the things that help you stand out against the competition. That's what you want to be presented in your title, bullets, and description. Oh, and it also had an anti-slip backing as well. You then pop in your brand name. So 
whatever your brand name is, pop it in there because you're going to want that to appear in the title. Amazon recommend that your brand name always appears at the very start of the title. So um, let's just think of a completely, uh, let's call ourselves liners or something like that with a Z, something cool, I don't know. So that's the name of our brand. And the only reason I've put that in is so you guys can see how it's used throughout the listing. So we want it to show at the beginning of the title, which is what I'd recommend. Don't put it at the end of the title. The product name. Now, if your product has a specific name, so for example, they have one, um, maybe the iPhone 14, you know, that is a specific product name. Some of the products you're selling may not have an exact product name. So for me, I might just call this a car boot liner. That's my product name. Or you might want to match the number one search term and make that the product name. It's up to you. Tone, this will depend on the type of product you are selling. What sort of tone do you want the AI to take? You've got formal, casual, friendly, humorous, persuasive, educational, empathetic, inspirational. So I'm just going to put this as friendly for now and we'll see what it comes back with. And the good thing with this, if it comes back with something you don't like, you can just hit the rewrite button, which is so, so helpful. Your target audience, you don't have to populate this. It depends on the type of product you're selling. If you're selling a kid's lunchbox, obviously you're gonna be targeting kids. If you're targeting something towards ladies or men, you put that in as your target audience. For me, with something like a car boot liner, it's not necessarily gender specific or age specific. So maybe I'm gonna target um, dog lovers or something like that. You have to do still do a bit of thinking around this to get the best results from the AI and words and special characters to avoid. So if there's anything you're aware of, that you don't want mentioning in your listing, then pop it in here. So for example, sometimes people call these products um, a car hammock, which didn't actually apply to boot liners. That's what they called the ones that go on the back seats. So I might want to put back seat. And another keyword that I actually got picked up on was using Velcro in my listing because my product had Velcro strips. I couldn't use that. So that's maybe not something you're gonna be aware of when you do this, but if there is a particular brand name or a trademark protected word that you do not wanna use, make sure you pop it in there. So we've put in the basic information. Now we can get the listing builder to use AI to basically write this for you. So you can choose the keywords that you want to include in each piece. So you're gonna to wanna to prioritize the highest volume, most relevant keywords in your title. And then as it goes down, it becomes less important. And on the left-hand side, these are color coded. So the red ones are the ones with the highest search volume and the orange ones have less search volume. So at the moment, this is suggesting that we put these three keywords in the title, but you can edit this to include other keywords. So maybe I want car boot protector in the title, but as I've already got car boot liner, I wanna take that out. Or maybe I wanna take out boot cover for dogs. You can go through this and choose the ones that you really want to include. So I might look at this and go, actually, instead of duplicating this, I'll take that one out and use this one because that's gonna include car boot protector already rather than doubling up. So I wanna include at least these three keywords and anything else I wanna include, probably those, just those three in the title and get it to write the title. So let's just give it a go and see what it comes back with. And this is what it suggested. The liner's waterproof quilted car boot liner, the perfect boot liner for dogs and car boot protector for dog lovers. Includes reusable dirt proof storage bag, bumper protective lap and anti-slip backing. So what it's doing then, it is using the keywords, trying to make it bot friendly and human friendly, trying to appeal to dog lovers and trying to promote the features as well. People often get caught up just keyword stuff in the title, but it has to be slightly appealing to the customer to read as well. Now, personally, I'm not a huge fan of how this bit flows in the middle, so I may potentially change that myself, or I might click on the rewrite for me button and see what else it comes up with instead. And for someone who maybe isn't a native English speaker, or maybe someone who isn't used to doing this day in, day out like I am, this can save you so much time. It can give you ideas how you may want to write your title. It can give you ideas that you decide to tweak yourself. And that's where the real power comes in. You do the keyword research, you get the AI to assist you in saving you a lot of time and giving you suggestions, and then you can tweak it to exactly what you want it to say. So it's just come back with a new title. So let's do the bullet points as well. So let's write the bullet points. You can see it's doing one, two, three, four. It's going to write all five bullet points for us, and we're going to write the description as well. So we'll let that do its thing. Now remember this is still in early testing. So sometimes it might be a bit slow or it might be a little bit buggy, but this tool is going to be so, so powerful once it is finally tuned. So it's got the first bullet point there, waterproof and quilted fabric. Our car boot liner is made from waterproof and quilted fabric, providing the ultimate protection for your car's interior. So you can either discard that, rewrite it, or use the suggestion. Just very quickly, I'm going to show you this being used so I can show you how this starts to tick off all of the keyword research you've done. Because the most important thing with this 
is that your listing uses all of the keywords that you highlighted that you want to target whilst also maintaining a human friendly approach. Uh, next one, the reusable dirt proof storage bag. Our boot protector comes with a reusable dirt proof storage bag, making it easy to store and transport. So use suggestion, the bumper protector flap. So you can see how it's taken all of the product characteristics that we highlighted earlier and ensure they're being used as individual bullet points. So the bumper protector flap, the bumper protector flap ensures that your car's bumper stays protected while loading and unloading your furry friend. And it's great, that's exactly what I was just talking about and it's put it into words for us. Anti-slip backing, the anti-slip backing keeps the liner securely in place, preventing your dogs from slipping and sliding during car rides. And the car boot liner for dogs, again, using the keywords, our car boot protector is specifically designed for dog owners, providing the perfect solution for keeping your car clean and tidy. So we've then got the description, which has got a load more keywords in. I'm not gonna read that and bore you, so let's just choose use suggestion for now. And then we can see how many of these are still available. So we've got car boot protector for dogs, dog boot liner, dog car boot covers for cars, and lots of others. So what you may wanna do is come back up. If you remember when I did the title, I think I actually unticked one of these. So let's just go back and edit this. Make sure, so car boot protector for dogs is ticked, but it hasn't been included in this attempt. So I'm gonna get that to rewrite for me, or I could manually go in and edit this title to ensure I can include that keyword as I know it's the most important keyword that needs to be included. So this is far from perfect in the sense it's not gonna do everything for you, but it's given you a lot of suggestions in terms of how to write the content and then you can just drop in the keywords that they miss to make sure that you include the most important keywords in your title, bullets and description. So we've done it again and we still haven't got car boot protector for dogs included in the title. So uh, it actually flows quite well with the ultimate protector for dog lovers. If I just drop this in here as the uh, actually use suggestion first, the ultimate car boot protector for dogs. I'm going to take out lovers, as I think it's more important to have the keyword there than kind of the audience targeting from earlier on. So now we've got the liner's car boot liner, the ultimate car boot protector for dogs, waterproof and quilted fabric, bumper flap and anti-slip backing includes reusable dirt-proof storage bag. That's quite a nice human-friendly title that's got three of the highest volume keywords in there. And this is where this tool is so powerful. You go down and make sure each one of these covers the characteristics that you wanted to include and ensure you include the keywords here. And as you type them, they will cross off. As you come down the left-hand side, it starts to rate you based on all of the things to make sure you're practicing good practice. So our title doesn't contain any symbols or emojis. The title contains 150 characters, five bullet points, 150 characters in each bullet point. First letter of each bullet point is capitalized. Bullet points are not all in caps and there's a thousand plus characters in the description or A plus content. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of the potential power of AI and how you can combine it with Amazon to make your existing or new product listings even better. If you do want to use this, use discount code FBA Elite 20. That will save you 20% off for the first six months or it will save you 25% off for the entire year. So make sure you use that discount code. I will pop it in the pinned top comment as well. Now, if you're struggling with actually finding a product to sell on Amazon, I'm gonna pop up a video now, which explains why you probably suck at Amazon product research. And I'll see you guys over there. Mm -hmm.